Hi gang, um, okay, um, right, this, this video was not actually really planned, um, I, I'll, I'll explain it in, in a minute, it, uh, it sort of, I decided to do it for a bit of fun to be honest with you, but um, right, like, just before we go into it, let me just show you, I've got, I don't know if you've seen my little TARDIS, it's great there, little TARDIS, and little pillow box, look. Bless, that's lovely. And I've now gotten off my bum and I've replaced all the rise, the track rise, with all the new black stuff that my good friend Bob has sprayed for me. And it looks so much better in black instead of a horrible orange. And he's also done the pillars in grey look underneath there again, better than the orange. So the black and grey looks really, really good. So thanks for doing that, Bob Z. Nice one. Right, <clears throat> I'll explain to you how this video came about. So say, this is purely a bit of fun. The thing is, I normally have to end, clear off all three of the tracks, everything, get everything off and put everything back in the boxes when I've decided what I'm going to run next. <clears throat> and in doing so today, uh, the inner line, this one here, had still got some Continental wagons on it. And uh, I've had another loco come that I've bought and I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to do this just for a bit of fun, just for today. So, here we go. What I've done, I'll bring this round. Now, this is the Transcontinental R155. That's the uh, the Hazard Stripe one. Now, you've seen it before. I've already done it in other videos, so I'm not going to uh, spend a lot of time on it. But that's the one with the Hazard Stripes. The one without the Hazard Stripes is the more sought-after one. But anyway, right, moving on. Now, this one you haven't seen because it only came a couple of days ago. Now, that is, again, that is the Triang R155 switcher but that's in maroon and that is quite a rare one now as you can see it's not brilliant condition there's no bodywork damage but the numbers uh, sorry the writing is quite badly worn and uh, the stripe is worn but i'm not worried about that because uh, my dear friend eric over in slovenia he's um, very good at this sort of thing he's going to uh, going to redo this for me the running numbers are fine on it uh, and so are the shields on the front and back if i can get the angle right there yeah they're fine I'll, i will tell you the the valuation book on this one because the, the maroon one it values it between a uh, hundred and two hundred pounds um and that's four years old so I, i'm thinking like 250 pound now for one in mint condition um but i got that for 42 pound and i don't mind because this could be fixed so yeah i'd rather pay 42 than 250 so there she is um that's so that's the two trying railways so to speak as they are now this one i featured in the last video which is the uh, i said i thought it was new zealand but i'm, I'm wrong I, i'm fairly sure it's, it is actually australian not new zealand that's the um i think that's called the victoria um livery i believe that is so you've already seen that one anyway and of course you've seen the canadian national which i've already featured before but what you haven't seen is all four of them together and my controllers are running four with no trouble at all you look at this, it, i mean you wouldn't see this in real life well yeah you would you'd see four locos in real life but not from different uh you know di well not with different liveries usually but i've just done it for fun and look at this look, look just look at this Right, we've got one. I put a, a caboose on the front. The Americans quite often do that anyway. So I stuck a caboose there, and then all the rolling stock, all the wagons, right, and all four locos are pulling this lot, and it's catching up with itself. Here, look at it. There's the bomb, there's its start. <laughs> wow. Come on, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's catching up. One more, one more wagon, and I think it would be catching up with itself. I mean, that is like wicked. I mean, <laughs> look at that. So brilliant. Yeah. Four switches, all in one go. And I tell you what, it, it pulled it really well. I mean, like I've said in previous videos, one of these locos manages about six wagons and then that's your lot. Um, I've got four locos here pulling 16, I believe. So, yeah, and she pulled it really well. And I can get some speed out of it as well. It's pretty cool. We've got about one second between there and there. <laughs> oh yeah, love it. Oh brilliant. All the fun. Alright. About it guys. Just wanted to do that for a bit of a laugh really. We'll bring it back round and stop. Uh, stop her over here as always. There's its bum and there's its nose. Lovely. Four switches, eh? Cool stuff.
Bye.